Sim, this is Larry over at TJR Sim. So I got a cool thing in the mail today, just before Christmas time, and it is called the Drive Hub. And you may wonder what this is, so we'll do an unboxing. I cheated and unboxed it. But anyway, uh, what this is is for, um, if you're like me, I mainly sim race on PC. But I uh, do have a PS4 Pro, and I have been playing um, GT Sport lately and uh, it's actually pretty good with a controller but I miss using a wheel and so I didn't want to go invest in a new Fnatic. Uh, it, probably the best scenario for me would be that since I have mostly Fnatic stuff is um, invest in the PS4 version the CSL Elite and then switch off the wheel uh, with my V2. But that's a drop down in force so I would rather just use my v2 so i saw on the sim pit he was using this and then i started investigating some more and yeah it works so this is what you get let's unbox it real quick and then i'll do a full review on it so thank you for your purchase of drive hub you download the manual off the website what comes in the box is usb cable nice braided covered cable looks fairly long actually let's see how long it is oh some nice cushion in the box to keep everything safe so about six foot long all right and then you get the unit itself and some 3m tape to stick it where you want to stick it so on this unit what happens is uh, this is a uh, from cryos and uh, anyway this is called the drive hub version and this later version works specifically for a uh, sim racers and this is a little uh, rev light when it lights up which is pretty cool I uh, got a couple of little buttons here to put it in uh, the wheel mode or like a or a controller mode you should update the firmware and you get it is what it says collective minds drive hub Let's focus in. Focus there. And how it hooks up, of course, I got some great videos on how to hook everything up, so it's pretty much literally plug and play. You will plug this one in here and the other end into your PS4. Now, this is for PS4, it could work for Xbox uh, One and One X as well to use uh, your uh, wheel setup. And they have a list of wheels and stuff, Logitech, Thrustmaster, Fnatic, wheels. Uh, I'm using the Fnatic V2 version, which is on the list of work. Um, and as well as the pedals and everything. Now, when you use the Fnatic par parts, you can just plug everything up to your Fnatic wheelbase. And somehow the game, this is programmed to recognize where your paddle shifters are, where your throttle is, and all that stuff. Uh, out of the box so there's nothing as far as i know there's nothing that you go into your game and configure your controller setup you just plug it in here this figures up everything for you uh but anyway to plug it in plug in here of course the cable into here other into your actual uh, ps4 this one is the controller port <clears throat> excuse me i am suffering from a cold Anyway, uh, your controller port here, and that is basically using a dedicated controller, so you're plugging your PS4 directly into here, and then your wheel, like you would plug in your USB uh, to your PC or your console. You don't, you plug it directly in here. And the accessory one is for, if you wanna run uh, separate accessories, let's say you wanna run your pedal separately, or you wanna hook up a Logitech shifter, boom, you can do that. <clears throat> uh, whichever ones are are of course ranged I did reach out to them because I am using uh, right now the Husenfeld shifter and they said just get back in contact with them if I was serious about it so I'm thinking I'll probably have to give it to them as a donor uh, for a little bit for them to program it and as well as the uh, e-brake so anyway uh, oh and this one you could use your Fnatic USB controller and use the handbrake that way if you wanted to uh, but anyway uh, lots of possibilities could save you a lot of money this was 89 bucks um, free shipping right now and it came within 
four days, I guess. So yeah, pretty quick. So anyway, look for more on the channel. I will uh, give you my impressions and review on the Creative Minds um, Drive Hub. And uh, yeah, wait, we'll just uh, we'll get some more videos up and show you how I like it. Till next time, see you on the track. I'm out.